collision domains. On a test you might be asked how many collision domains you can see in the diagram. So the way to answer a question like this is is to find out where are the intermediary network devices. In this picture we've got two hubs, right? So in this network if these are hubs and any one of these hosts sends anything on the network it's going to go into the hub and then it's going to be forwarded out of all ports on the hub effectively making this type of network right here one large collision domain so if you see hubs hubs expand collision domains or um, uh, they make collision domains larger right so this is all one collision domain so the answer to this question would be one but if we look at the next picture now we have some switches here. Now switches on the other hand, let's say this computer right here wanted to send to this computer right here. When this computer forwards that, um, sends that frame to the switch, the switch will look in its MAC address table and if it has the um, a mapping of that particular destination MAC address in its table mapped to a port, it will forward it out the correct port and so it'll just it'll take the frame on this frame and then send it out only one port. It won't broadcast it basically out every single interface or every single port. So with switches each interface becomes its own collision domain. So in a sense we won't have any collisions. So switches break up collision domains or they create new collision domains um, effectively um, benefiting the network by having the absence of collisions. So in, to answer this question, how many collision domains, in this type of diagram, you would just count all the links to the switch. So you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this is a collision domain between the switches, so that's seven, and then eight, nine, ten. So the answer to that question in this diagram would be ten collision domains. Each link, each port coming off of the switch is a collision domain. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so um, routers, now all I've done is added a router in the middle. Now a router also breaks up collision domains. All right, so we'd, it would be similar as the last one except we would include the two links here separately between the switch and the router. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, in this diagram it's a little bit harder because what you have to do now is figure out all of these different intermediary networking devices and you have to treat them differently. So you have to find how many hubs you have and thanks to somebody on YouTube who sent me a comment they pointed out that I had actually done it wrong and so I'm doing this as a redo. So for instance this is a hub let's say and this is a hub so anything connected to the hub is all one collision domain. So um, these two links coming off this hub, this will be one collision domain. So I'd have to count this as one, right? And then this hub has a printer connected to it, and then it's connected to a router, and so then this is one collision domain, right? So, and then with the switches, we can just count the links, and the same thing with the router, uh, but not when it's connected to the hub. So anyway, this is one, two, two collision domains, two connections from this switch. Then this is one collision domain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From the router to the switch is ten. From this router to the switch, eleven. From this router to the switch, that's twelve. And then thirteen here, crossover cable to a server. And then this whole thing right here, these two links, is all one collision domain, so that's 14. And so my, uh, my YouTube uh, comment that came in, uh, the, uh, the viewer was right. This is 14 collision domains.